Hey there, and hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, as you come on, uh, as always, please hop into the comments. Uh, do say hi and where you are tuning in from, uh, or just hashtag live. Uh, hashtag replay, if you are watching this in on the replay, please feel free to tag some people, share this video, uh, like, love, support, react and respond to this any which way you want. Uh, and again, uh, if you have not yet registered for my free five-day LinkedIn workshop, it's called the Amateur to Expert on LinkedIn in Five Days Workshop. It is from June 10th to June 14th, uh, 1 to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live and recorded. Uh, all you have to do is drop the word free in the comments at any point live or on the replay and I will send you that link. So we have a lot to cover today. We're gonna to be going over what I have found to be three proven ways to generate sales calls on LinkedIn. So let's dive on in. So hey everybody, Scott Aaron here. So one of the misnomers I feel on LinkedIn is is just that. How how do I generate more sales calls? Now you're going to be hearing a, a lot of different strategies, a lot of different techniques. Um, you're going to have people saying this, that, the other. Um, you know whatever the case may be. Now the fact of the matter is is that there is no easy way. There's no easy button uh, to generate sales calls on LinkedIn. And you'll, you're you're going to be fed a ton of misinformation from other LinkedIn influencers and people that teach sales. Everybody makes it easier than it seems. And you may, you may even get messages from people on LinkedIn that promise you, you know, 40 extra appointments a month, which now more than ever uh, is more challenging to accomplish on LinkedIn just because of how many things they've changed with how many notes you can add if you don't have premium, how many messages you can send. Uh, but also a lot of the people that are spamming people have really made it more challenging for the people that are doing it the right way. So again, if you're coming on live, uh, please do say hi and where you're tuning in from. If I'm coming in loud and clear, you can see me and you can hear me. Just drop a Y or a yes in the comments. Just want to make sure that there's no audio or video issues. Again, if you're watching this on the replay, um, you can use hashtag replay, tag some people, share this video, like, love, support, react and respond to this any which way you want. And don't forget to type the word free in the comments if you would like to attend my free LinkedIn workshop. It's called the Amateur to Expert on five days, uh, in five days on LinkedIn from June 10th to June 14th, 1 to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live and recorded, workbook, prizes, um, close to 250 people now registered, and we still have three weeks. So uh, it's going to be a fun one and would love for you to be a part of it. Now, The first, I would say, uh, strategy or method is pretty simple and, and easy to understand, and, and that's connecting with and messaging the right people. Now, that may sound simplistic, but hear me out here. If you're connecting with the right people, and when I mean the right people, I mean people that could benefit from your products, your services, your coaching, your consulting, what you offer, or someone that is a business ally, someone that could introduce you to or play a referral partner for you. And you message those people the right way, you're going to get responses and you're going to book more sales calls or get to know you calls. Plain and simple, if you're connecting with the wrong people, meaning you're just spraying and praying, you're connecting with anyone and everyone, and 
the people that you're connecting with don't benefit from your products and your services. They don't benefit from your coaching, your consulting, whatever you're offering. Well, guess what? When you message them, they're not going to respond. So first, make sure that you're connecting with the right people. First and foremost, you got to connect with the right people. It's just how it works. When you connect with the right people, they're going to be more open to getting on a call with you to find out more about you, you finding more about them and how you can synergistically work together or if they can benefit from what you offer. So again, if that's clear and if that makes sense, just drop a Y or a yes in the comments if you're live or on the replay. Uh, I just want to make sure that this is resonating. Now, so once you do make the right connection, it, it then makes the, the big difference is how you're going to message this person. And it's in three steps. A warm opening is the first step. Two is bridging the connection. And I'm, I'm just going to put this up on the, the screen. Bridging the connection. And the third part is a CTA. So I'm going I'm to show this um, really quickly. So a warm opening is the first thing, bridging the connection is the second thing, and a CTA, call to action. So let me give you an example. If I was connecting with someone that could benefit from my product, my service, my offering, my coaching, my consulting, whatever it is, you know, I would reach out to the person. I would say, hey, Scott, it's so great to be connected to you. I noticed that we had a similar background in the coaching and consulting field, or I noticed that we were both podcasters. I know that we were both in the you know business world, would love to hear how things are going with your business and what you're working on, share more about me and what I'm working on and how we can support one another here on LinkedIn. Now I'm bridging the connection. And what I mean by bridging the connection is when you're messaging that person, when you're messaging that person, you want to make sure, you want to make sure that they fully understand exactly why, exactly why you're reaching out. This is the big thing. If they don't know why you're reaching out, then they're not going to respond. Meaning they, they have to fully understand exactly what the point is. You know, why are you reaching out? What's the connection point, right? That's the whole thing. If, if people are going to respond back to you, you need, you need to make sure that you are actually bridging that gap where the person is saying to themselves, oh, uh, that makes sense. Th that's exactly why this person um, is messaging me. You need to make sure that there is a clear statement of why the person is even going to be connecting with you. That's the whole point. The point is you want people to respond back and you get them to respond back by creating a relatable connection point between you and the other person. So when you bridge the gap, you state a relatable connection. So it's your warm opening, bridging the connection, and then you finish with a CTA. Did you have any time this week or next week to hop on a Zoom or a call? Warm opening, bridging the connection, a call to action. Now, here, so people like to hear what the uh, the numbers are. The numbers are. So here's here's a breakdown of how this works. If you were to message five people a day, the way that I just described, warm opening, bridging the gap, call to action. You message five people a day, you will get one person out of those five if they're the right kind of connection. If there's someone that benefits from your products, your service, your good, your offering, your coaching, your consulting, or a business ally, someone that you could network with, with you can do referrals back and forth with. If you message the right people the right way, 
five messages a day, you will get one response back per day of someone that wants to talk. And if you do that over a full week, Monday through Friday, you will have five qualified appointments booked every single week. And I will tell you this, that changes anyone's business. Anyone's business. If you message people the right way and you're messaging the right people, it's a game changer. And I know anyone that's watching this, type the word me in the comments. Type the word me, M-E, in the comments if you feel that your business would positively be impacted if you had five new calls every single week that were qualified. I feel everyone would benefit from that. So connect with the right people, message the right people the right way to book those calls. Now, the second way is using the push notification messages. Now, I want to show you what I mean by this. So the push notification messages are under my network. And I'm going to show you really quickly where they are. So when you click on my network, it takes you to where it says grow or catch up. And you're going to click the word catch up. And this is going to show you every single push notification that you have. This is job changes, birthdays, work anniversaries, education notifications. Now, if LinkedIn is giving you all of these, you can send all of them. So, you know, you can like and comment. I prefer doing these messages. So here's what you can do. You can literally pick five people a day on each of these. So I'm going to go, Angela, congrats. Josh, congrats. Christian, congrats. Shannon, congrats. And Reginald, congrats. There we go. Okay, there's five. I'm going to go to birthdays. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Susie. And James, happy birthday. Okay, there's five more. Work anniversaries. Congrats on the work anniversary. Congrats. 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 And congrats. And finally, education. Jack, congrats, uh, congrats on starting at Harvard. There's Sean. Congratulations to you. Francesca, congratulations to you. And Sarah, congratulations to you. So right there, I just messaged 20 people. Now, where does this come into play as far as booking more calls? Now, here's the thing. If someone responds back to you and says, thank you for wishing me a happy birthday. Thank you for the congratulations. Thank you for the congrats on my new job or you know, graduating or starting X, Y, and Z. You can use that warm opening, bridging the connection CTA to your advantage again. So here's an example. Someone writes back, happy birthday. I can write, you know, Jack, you are so welcome. I hope it was a great day. I know we haven't spoken before or it's been a while since we last connected. Would love to hear how everything is going with you. Share more about what I'm up to and how we can best support one another here on LinkedIn. Any time this week or next week for a call or a Zoom. That's simple. If someone responds back to one of those messages, you simply wrap back around, ask for a call. Door is open. The door is open for them to obviously then take it to the next level. Now, if you're sending out 20 of those, because again, you're I, I could have sent more, you're going to get a bunch of people that respond back. 
So if you're booking an extra call or two per day, just doing that, that's three calls per day. That's 15 calls per week. That's 60 calls per month. Now your business is moving in the right direction. So if that's clear and if that makes sense, again, just drop a Y or a yes in the comments. Um, you know, I just want to make sure you guys are reading with, resonating with this. If you jumped on late, please do say hi and where you're tuning in from or hashtag live, hashtag replay. If you are watching this on the replay, tag some people, share this video, like, love, support, react and respond to this any which way you want. And again, if you have not yet registered for my free five-day amateur to expert on LinkedIn workshop, it's five days, uh, please do type the word free and I'll send you that June 10th to June 14th, 1 to 2 p.m. EST, live and recorded. Now, that is the second uh, way. The third and final way is message those who vote in your poll questions. Again, this is just another thing that you can do. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to go to one of my polls that I did the other day. Okay, right here. Yes or no, LinkedIn is the best platform to generate free organic leads. 33 votes. I'm going to click on those votes. And you'll see right here, the blue means they are a connection. Right? George, Chris, Deanne. And what I can do is I can click this button right here and I can say, you know, hi, Marja. Thank you so much for voting in my poll question from last week. Uh, your support means so much. If you had the time, it would be great to hop on a call or Zoom to see how we can best support one another here on LinkedIn. Is there a day and time that you prefer? And I can literally copy this, okay? Send it. Done. And now you, you can see that it's actually showing the person how I'm actually connecting with them, right? So there's Chris. And I'm just going to paste. Hi, Chris. And I'll, I usually send about three to five. There's George. Change the name to George. And I'll send one more. And there's Deanne. And I'll, someone already responded back. So look. Now. Um, so now I can copy this. What Now watch what I can do here since you're seeing this in real time. So now I can say, you know, you are so welcome. If you had the time, it would be great to hop on a call or Zoom to see how we can best support one another here on LinkedIn. Is there a day and time you prefer? So now the door is open. So I'm coming back over the top. So right there, you're seeing this in real time, how this actually works. So again, when you do your poll questions, that's what it allows you to do. So again, make sure that you connect with and message the right people the way that I showed you, warm opening, bridging the connection, CTA. Use the push notification messages as I showed you, the happy birthday already worked. I already got a response back. And message those who vote in your poll questions the way that I showed you as well asking of how you can support one another and hopping on a call. You have to ASK to GET. You have to ask in order to get, and this is one of the best ways to do it. So again, one last time, if you would like to attend my free five-day LinkedIn workshop called The Amateur to Expert in Five Days, it is from June 10th to June 14th. Just type the word free in the comments at any point, and I will send you that registration link. Again, thank you guys so much for your support. Love and gratitude to each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you next time.